you need the add fraction and subtract fraction GeoGebra embedded files. And the aim is visually to see how to add one fifth and one third. I need to move this slider on the side so that these black lines perfectly cover the brown shaded area and perfectly cover the blue shaded area as well. If I go up to tenths, we can see the brown shaded area is perfectly covered, but the blue one isn't. When you think you've found a perfect covering for both circles, you go to the Excel file and imagine if you thought it was two tenths. It's telling you it's not a common denominator, i.e. it doesn't work for the thirds. Maybe you then later experiment and you find thirtieths, and that perfectly fits the fifths, and that perfectly fits the thirds. How many thirtieths make one fifth? One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you enter that in here, you're not wrong, it's not telling you to try again, but you haven't found the lowest common multiple. There should be smaller pieces of pi that will perfectly fit into both. So you don't need to chop it into as many as 30 slices if you get the not the lowest common multiple message. You enter your answers for both of those fractions. So for the fifths and thirds, how many thirtieths are they each, for example. And then you need to enter what you think your final answer is in here. Fraction 1 plus fraction 2. Well, imagine I thought it was 11 thirtieths, which is wrong. It's going to tell me to try again. Uh, if it wasn't the lowest, it will say this is not the LCN. And you just need to simplify your answer. Last point. If you click down here, and you're entering some mixed numbers on this part of the activity. So if I scroll right down to the bottom, we've got a number of activities. The last one of which is the mixed numbers activity. Numbers greater than a whole. To enter mixed numbers, if I try and type in 24 fifths, meaning 2 and 4 fifths, the computer interprets that as 24 fifths. And when you press enter, it will turn it into the whole number of mixed numbers. If you want to type 2 and 4 fifths, you need to type 2 space 4 fifths, and then it will interpret it as you want it to. You cannot click anywhere except where you're allowed to enter in data. So all of these columns, you're supposed to enter your answers in. And if you can't click on it, then you're not meant to do anything there. Best of luck.